afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Rotobola Radio Waiver Wire Series. I'm your host, Anthony Aniano. Happy to be here with you as we prepare for the Week 16 of Fantasy Baseball season. The week beginning Monday, July 12th, but not really starting Monday, July 12th, as that's the All-Star break. Games next week not starting till Thursday, July 15th. Don't forget, everybody, head over to rotoballer.com and check out everything we have there. The main page, the premium package, the expert chats, you name it. Rotoballer.com, the place to be. Whether it's football, baseball, basketball, MMA, eSports, NASCAR, PGA, or sports betting, Rotoballer.com has it all for you. Whether you're trying to play DFS season long, get through the rest of the baseball season, prepare for fantasy football, sign up for our premium package using the promotional code ACES. Save yourself a little bit of money just by telling them Pocket Aces Anthony Aniano has sent you. And don't forget that Weekly Fantasy Baseball is here. If you love the strategy of season-long fantasy sports, live for the short-term gratification of DFS, then be sure to try out our Weekly Fantasy Baseball contests on Owner's Box. Head over to rotoballer.com slash box and sign up today. Our friends at Owner's Box are hooking you up. All new users get up to a $500 deposit match bonus and a free Roto Baller Premium Pass valued at $99. We'll be hosting weekly free roll contests on Owner's Box as well, which are free to enter with lots of awesome prizes to the winners. Head on over to rotoballer.com slash box for all the details and sign up today. All right, guys. Week 16, all-star break upon us. Let's take a look at some hitters here who can help us uh, coming back from the break at the start of the second half. And we'll start behind the plate. A couple of injuries have cropped up. Buster Posey hitting the DL. Two catchers. One that we have to be mindful of because as I record this on Saturday, uh, his status will be updated injury-wise as well. First is Elias Diaz of the Colorado Rockies, who's been hot over the last 14 days. Only 10% rostered on Yahoo. Over the last 14 days, scorching hot, hitting 406 with five of his seven home runs and nine of his 18 RBIs. Okay, bat seventh or eighth in that Rockies lineup. On the season, a little less than inspiring, hitting 208 with a 285 on base percentage, seven homers, 18 RBIs, 19 runs scored, and an OPS of 668. But again, I shrink that down. I don't worry about what happened in April. Five of his seven homers, 406. He's been hot of late. Somebody who can help you potentially in the second half. My other catcher and my number one catcher ad of the week, but it depends on this oblique injury, but that's Jan Gomes of the Washington Nationals. Right now, as of this moment, day to day, but more information could potentially come out throughout the rest of the weekend. Only 24% rostered in the state of catching in Major League Baseball. His overall numbers should be more usable in fantasy baseball. Now, over the last 14 days, hitting 350, a homer, seven RBIs, eight runs scored, batting sixth every day in that Nationals lineup. On the season, a respectable 266 with eight homers and 33 RBIs. You tell me you could get a catcher who's going to hit you over 250, 15, 16 home runs, 65, 70 RBIs. That's the pace Jan Gomes is essentially on, okay? And he's only 24% rostered on Yahoo, Okay. OPS of 760, Nationals struggling, but a few Nationals hitting of late and on today's list. Let's take a look at some middle corner infield options. Starling Castro, also of the Mount, uh, Washington Nationals. Second base, third base eligible, only 16% rostered. In his heyday, we know Starling Castro was a complete hit machine. Okay, playing third base every day for the Nats and hitting fifth in their lineup. Over the last 14 days, Hitting 417. Homer, 11 RBIs, 8 runs scored. On the season, the numbers are acceptable. I love him as a middle infield option. You want more power out of a corner, but this is a guy who's giving you a decent batting average on the season, 276. Three homers, 38 RBIs, driving in a few runs, hitting fifth in that Nationals lineup. Okay, Starling Castro, like I said, only 16% rostered. Second base, third, which makes a middle and corner infield if beat up by injury or ineffectiveness at a middle infield position. Another corner infield, also outfield eligible. And to be honest, my number one ad of the week, Garrett Cooper of the Miami Marlins. 19% rostered and the power is starting to play with Cooper. 
Over the last 14 days, hitting a re- unbelievable 438. Three homers, seven RBIs, five runs scored. Has even stolen a base over the last 14 days. And over the over the course of the season, 286, a 377 on base percentage off the charts. The highest OPS of anybody on today's list at 855. Nine home runs, 31 RBIs, 26 runs scored. That's third for the Miami Marlins and only 19% rostered. Put him at the top of every waiver claim you have this week. Get Kerry Cooper on your team. He's a, a Put him in as your third or fourth outfielder. Put him in as your corner infielder. Okay, Gary Cooper, the number one ad of the week. Another first base outfield eligible player, Chicago White Sox, Andrew Vaughn. 25% rostered. Last 14 days, hitting 368. Two homers, five RBIs, eight runs scored. He's got an OPS on the season of 745. Batting 249 now on the year. Eight homers, 22 RBIs. Young kid, going to have his inconsistencies, no doubt about that. Hitting seventh in that White Sox lineup most days. Okay, but nonetheless, 25% rostered. First base outfield, corner infield. Uh, White Sox getting healthier. Eloy Jimenez coming back. He should already be rostered in more than 40% of the leagues as soon as that news broke. But nonetheless, Andrew Vaughn still has a role with the White Sox. Somebody to be mindful of for the second half. Another player I love because of his versatility uh, is Kiki Hernandez of the Boston Red Sox. Their leadoff hitter. Second base, shortstop, outfield. So you got middle infield, outfield eligibility, and right now on a hot streak. He's always flashed power. Batting average has always been a little bit of an issue, but over his last 14 days, Kiki Hernandez hitting over 300, 313, five home runs, five of his 11 home runs, 11 RBIs of his 30, and a lot of runs scored, 43 runs scored on the season so far, nine in his last 14 days. A 756 OPS on the season, 242, 316 on base percentage, 11 homers, 30 RBIs. Only 36% rostered. Second base, shortstop, means middle infield, as well as outfield eligibility. That's a nice mix of eligibility for Kiki Hernandez, okay, on that first place Red Sox team and batting leadoff, which I like. If you're searching for runs with a little bit of power, Kiki Hernandez provides you that. Okay, finally, my two stolen base ads of the week. First, Elvis Andrews, shortstop Oakland Athletics. Got off to a terrible, terrible start. He's climbed his batting average out of the hole that it was in in the 160s and 170s and gotten it up to 238. Not very sexy, I get it, but still significantly better than it was. Over the last 14 days, he's hitting 306. He's only 6% rostered on Yahoo. Two homers, five RBIs, eight runs scored. But what do I want him for? I want him for that second half speed. Eight stole, Three stolen bases over the last 14 days. Eight stolen bases on the season. He still has another eight to ten stolen bases left in him this year. And at this point, we say it all the time, don't worry about filling the position. Look at your rotisserie stats. If stolen bases is somewhere you can make up some ground, Elvis Andrews off the wa- waiver wire can help you with that. If you could use ten extra steals, Elvis Andrews, can give you those 10 extra steals. He bats second in that Oakland lineup, okay? 238, like I said, batting average on base percentage isn't great, 281. But he is a one-category filler right now for me. And that's, I need speed, speed, speed. I need stolen bases. Put him in your middle infield option. If you need speed and have a hole in the outfield, take a look at Michael Taylor of the Kansas City Royals. Again, only 6% rostered. Over the last 14 days, Two stolen bases with a 342 batting average. Has actually got three homers and seven RBIs. Gives you potentially a little bit better numbers than Andrews because he has more pop to go with the speed. Batting 247 on the year, eight home runs, six stolen bases. He's a guy who's going to finish, you know, in that 12 to 15 home run range and 10 to 15 stolen base range, giving you a double double, a 669 OPS, hitting seventh or eighth for the Kansas City Royals. 32 RBIs, 34 runs scored on the season. So, catcher, Jan Gomes 1, Elias Diaz 2. Check on Gomes' health before putting in that waiver claim. Middle infield options, we have Stalin Castro giving you a nice batting average boost. We have Kiki Hernandez giving you some runs scored, some power. Elvis Andrews giving you some stolen bases. If you need some corner infield or outfield help, Gary Cooper's the number one guy on my list. 
Andrew Vaughn is available, and Michael Taylor for some stolen bases out of the outfield position. All right, everybody. I'm Anthony Aniano. Follow me on Twitter at A Aniano Fantasy. Like we said at the start, head over to rotoballer.com and check out all the great content there as you go through the second half of your fantasy baseball season and prepare for your fantasy football season as well. Stay smart, stay safe. We'll see you next time right here on Rotoballer Radio. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>